Now that we have looked deeper into labeling and identifiers inside Amazon, let's move on now with showing you how to create your inward FBA order for the product that you have a placeholder listing created for. Let's take a bird's eye view of what we will be doing in this inward FBA process. We're going to pick up where we left off with a new listing. We were at the stage of being fulfilled by ourselves. Now our first step is to convert this listing over to FBA. One of the first things we will be asked for is the actual product dimensions. We collated that information earlier with all the other data before we listed the placeholder listing. This allows Amazon to categorize the product either into standard size or oversize. We will not dwell on too much on this point now as it's not overly relevant other than to say that oversized products generally go to different fulfillment centers than standard size items. Then we inform where our product's last location before Amazon's fulfillment center will be, or in other words, where is it being picked up by the courier or haulier? For example, if you're using a freight forwarder's warehouse or hub, then that would be the place of collection. We will need to add this address. We also need to confirm if our products are case packed or individual items. As I covered in a previous module, to qualify for case packed items, which I recommend, each carton must contain the same number of units and have the same dimensions as well as the same weight. If your product cartons are anything other than this, then they will be considered individual items. When using individual items, Amazon has the ability to request how many you will need to have in each delivery, which will further complicate issues for you. So again, remember how much easier and straightforward case packed items can be with only a very few minor tweaks needed when ordering products. Then you will inform Amazon how many units you are sending and you will receive any labels for the products themselves, if this is applicable. You will then also let Amazon know how many cartons are being sent and their dimensions and weight, and you will receive the labels for your cartons to make their journey to Amazon's fulfillment center. To start the process, you need to go to the inventory tab on the main menu and then manage inventory in the submenu. When you click on this option, you will find yourself inside the manage inventory area and you will see the product that you left at this stage. Currently looking like it is being self-fulfilled. The first thing to do is to click on the select box beside our product and locate the action menu shown here in the ring. When you open the action menu, you have a number of options. You wanna select the option convert to fulfilled by Amazon. This area is confirmation that you wanna convert. So you simply select the button that says convert and send inventory. Now, when you do this for the first time, you will be asked by Amazon to confirm a number of settings. First up, you want to accept any label services. This allows you to scale in the future if this service is ever required. Also, you want to select the option of stickerless commingled inventory. At this point, you will likely have to enter the actual product dimensions of your item, have this to hand, don't forget that it will be imperial inches in the USA and metric centimeters in Europe. After this, you will move into the actual inward FBA process that you will use over and over again. The start off point for the inward FBA process is to select or inform Amazon of three main variables. One, is this a new order plan or is it adding to an existing one you started earlier? 99% of the time, this will be a new order. And certainly every time you add to the first shipment of your new product, it definitely will be. Number two, the ship from address. That is the last address before Amazon where your goods will be collected by the courier or haulier. And three, the item package type, either our case packed items or individual items as I discussed. Once you have these entered and selected, you can continue to the shipping plan. I want to re-emphasize that your aim is to have case packed cartons. It is a hugely more effective way to ship going forward. And to repeat again, to be able to use case packed cartons, your products must be the same size, be the same weight, only contain one SKU and have the same number of units in every carton. When you select case packed items, you must next inform Amazon of how many units we have in a single case, as well as how many cases you are shipping into Amazon. Simply enter your numbers at this point, then continue. You will then move into prep and label. As you have used your barcode when installing the product, it is highly unlikely you will be required by Amazon to label your products. However, if you do, it is a very simple process of downloading the labels when prompted. If this occurs, 
then a label must be placed over your existing barcode before the product goes to Amazon. Again, highly unlikely that this will happen given that you have followed my process. Amazon will now start to produce an inward order or orders for you to work on. You can name the order if you wish, however, Amazon will auto name it as the date and time of the start of production, which is a very effective name. All you have to do is approve the shipment or shipments. At this point, Amazon now has your shipments ready to work on. To get started, click on work on shipment. You will need to do this step for every order Amazon has created. It may be one or it may be multiple depending on your product, your numbers and their system. While you are working on this shipment, you will be doing the following tasks to complete the Inward or FBA order. One, reviewing the shipment numbers. Two, selecting the delivery service being used. Three, inserting shipment package details. Four, verifying shipment charges. And finally, producing the delivery labels. Task one is to review the numbers that you entered earlier to make sure they are correct. You can amend these if required, but it's a simple task of reviewing that the units per case and number of cases are correct for your product. Task two is to select how your cartons will be going to Amazon's fulfillment centers. At the start, it is very cost effective to use the SPD service, which is the small parcel delivery. This is effectively sending in boxes of goods. As you progress, you will move to LTL or less than truckload service as your numbers increase. This is where you would be sending in pallets of goods. You also need to select a courier or a haulier in the case of pallets to ship in our goods. Again, Amazon's preferred carrier system is a perfect choice for you to start. You will likely do not have any account with a major courier, and even if you did, it is unlikely that you would have the rates available to compete with Amazon's. So my recommendation is always to use small parcel delivery with Amazon's preferred carrier which are the default settings. Inside task three, you have to inform Amazon of the size, weight, and configuration of stock in your boxes. Again, having those case packed items here makes it so simple. If you are sending one box, then select everything in one box. If you are sending more than one box, then select multiple boxes. Now insert how many units are inside each carton, the size of each carton, and the weight of each carton. It's as simple as that. Now move on to task four, Looking at delivery charges, you can simply click calculate and Amazon will give you the price for the entire shipment. Once happy, click that you agree and accept the charges. Again, could not be easier. Then finally, task five, print off your delivery labels and give them over to your freight forwarders or whoever is placing the labels onto your boxes. Ask them to arrange collection with the courier and give them any further details that you require, such as labeling a product. When you receive confirmation that your goods and boxes have been collected, then you can mark the shipment as complete. The shipment will now move in the Manage FBA Shipments area for you to review. All previous shipments will also stay here. 